Okay, first topic already has a lot of people talking because someone wrote to the Toronto Star's advice columnist saying their wife has stopped caring about her looks. <laughs> this is gonna be a contentious one. So they say that she used to be really, like really into her designer wardrobe, but then lost interest over the pandemic. And now she needs to be reminded to make herself, <laughs> it's going bad places, get this. Uh, he has to remind his wife to be presentable. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay, Sarah, I mean, this is icky territory. Oh. What's the advice to give to this person? I hate this. Um, <laughs> just a disclaimer. Um, I, my advice for this man is after COVID, it is a sweatpant world, and we are all living in <laughs> this, like this is the life now. Um, I was literally thinking yesterday, I hadn't even read this, that I was like, it is so nice that people are wearing sweatpants outside and everyone feels comfortable. Um, but I just, you know, I don't, did you marry this woman because she wore makeup? Did you, did you marry her makeup or did you marry the person? Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, and I also think if, if he had framed it in a way, hey, my wife doesn't shower all the time, I'm a little worried about her mental health. Exactly. Yeah. That was my biggest, that was a yeah. red flag for me. It's like, if, you, if you're if you actually worried about her, that should be the it framed in the question. Yes. And that, like, because it's a huge red flag for me. I will say, though, to take it away from this story, because we don't yeah. know what is going on here. I, I do, do you not have opinions about your partners, the way that they dress and keep themselves, like a little bit? Like you got, you want to be attracted to them, right? And and that's part. When I first started dating Jason, one of the things that I found so attractive about him was the way he dressed. I, he had a lot of. He went Look to Montreal. Look at the young end. Babies. But he wore a lot of sweaters that I really liked and so we would come out. And then somewhere around the time when Jaya was born, he switched into these, like this array of t-shirts that had strange things on them. Like beer, beer like t-shirts? I don't know what this is. This one is a, a like I think a lion wearing sunglasses. He has one with a bear oh, stepping like on it. a piece of Lego. Like they're all kind of strange and, and odd and Are weird. you saying you don't like this? I'm not saying I don't like or it. It's just, it's not a horny making look. <laughs> right. But right. he knows how to bust it out. He knows how to turn it up. Like if he's gonna go to a wedding, like we all went to a wedding a little while ago, he knows, he still knows how to dress himself in those. It just days. doesn't happen off, often yeah, I just, I, but I can, I, I'm okay with it all. Yeah. You? Yeah. Same. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I hear what you're saying. Yes, yeah. we married a person. Yeah. Uh, to me though, I 100% I, I understand the spirit of what you're saying. Yeah. But to me, a person is what's on the inside and what's on the outside. Oh, like for I, sure. So I need to be attracted to my husband. For this marriage to work, I need to want to have sex with my husband. Yeah. Sorry, like I need to have sex in my relationship. I need to have sex to feel fulfilled. And I enjoy sex. And sweatpants don't do it. Yeah. It's not the <laughs> He lives in sweatpants. Before the pandemic, he lived in sweatpants. Yeah. I mean, you all would hear me say that I'd only see Yasik out of sweatpants maybe twice a year. So it matters to me how he looks. Yeah. It mat and I am constantly telling him, and I, I've told you, you've heard me say it, he needs to moisturize. Like his, <laughs> I would like him to invest in a moisturizer because I do, and I look really cute, and eventually the cute differential between me <laughs> and him oh, yeah. when you're older. is going to get bigger and bigger, <laughs> and that's, that's the thing. You know, he always says to me, it's his joke, I laugh, he always, this is his line. He thinks it's the funniest line and I thought it was funny five years ago and now I just roll my eyes. He says, why are you so hot but, no, oh, I messed it up. Why are you, sorry, why are you so old but so hot? Right, like what he's saying is, I know, what? And his point, his point is that the older I get, the hotter I stay. And I need to be able to say that to him. <laughs> so, okay, I get that. But here's a bit of a challenge. I do say this is a gendered discussion because mm. hearing it that way, and, and Yasik works from home. Yeah. And so it's not like he has, there's no reason to get dressed up. In fact, he'd probably be very uncomfortable. Showering would be nice, Melissa. Okay, that, showering yeah. is, showering's showering is a different story, right? Showering is yeah. in a different category. Yeah. When I go back to this original story, it is gendered because before yeah. he writes to somebody at the Toronto Star, he should probably ask himself a few questions. Like, if my wife is no longer dressing up and once upon a time she used to and she used to like it, yeah. am I doing enough around the house mm -hmm. that she has time for self-care again? Yeah. yeah. Because this 
reeks, reeks of, like, I get everything you're saying, and I don't disagree. We all want to be attracted to our partner. And the fact that she used to like it and now doesn't do it, something has changed. Yeah. But is he asking himself, am I part of the problem why things aren't changing back after the pandemic? Mm -hmm. If she's still doing 80% of the household work, yeah. She doesn't have time to look good for you. Yeah. That's the problem. Okay, and I'm the opposite. I just, yeah. I just because Yasik does 80 to 90% of the household work. <laughs> yeah, but I, my oh, yes, true. But here's a question. You said he only gets up, like dressed up twice a year. Uh -huh. Last year, Kwame got married and uh -huh. we all went to the wedding. Yes. And all of the partners. <laughs> yeah, married. With our yeah. partners, the partners looked, can I say, the men looked fine. They looked good. So maybe, Lainey, if I may give you some un, uh, solicited. <laughs> unsolicited <laughs> advice, maybe if you surprised him and said, hey, I'm taking you out to dinner, he has a reason to get out of the sweatpants. Yes. There you we go. You see what I'm saying? Well, maybe a little, you we know. leave it there just, okay. to, just to be safe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.